Lewis and welcome to the Silly's Garden. Now, folks, we've come out to Oak Park. We've got a beautiful family. Giuseppe, Joe? And Joanne. Giovanni, that's the one. Ah, oh, it's... Giovanna. Giovanna? <laughs> Giovanna and Giovanna. And Giuseppe, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. I got it right the first time. What did you say, Giovanni? <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs> You're confusing me. <laughs> so we've got Giuseppe here and Giovanna who's hiding behind Giuseppe. Nice to meet you both. And the beautiful kids here, the children, yeah, yours? Yeah, one. One of them? Which one do you want to keep? Good looking one. All right. Them. Get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> Your name? Hi, Francesca. Nice to meet nice you. To meet David. You. David, pleasure, nice mate. Likewise, likewise. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Now we've come to yeah. Oak Park. We're going to have a look around your garden. You're going to take us for a tour? Yes. And after we mangiare? Yes. Of course, that's it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm hungry. Let's go. Which way? What are you showing me? Nectarine. You'd like to try one? Oh, of course I want to try one. This Did one you... maybe is really... No, no spray. No spray? No. Never? I don't know why. You all right? It's hard, huh? Oh, sweet. Very yeah. sweet. We haven't explained anything at the moment. We're at the back of the property here, folks, right behind the house. Where you're sitting at the moment are roof tiles. So I can actually put my hand in the gutter, just like this. Have a look at that. That's how high we are at the moment. So the property is on a slope, going straight uphill, and it drains very well here. Yeah, that's the problem too. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it all just runs away. Yeah, everything ran away. Yeah, yeah, but, it's, it's yeah. Enough, but there's enough moisture there for the fruit, like this here. Yeah, what, what I believe is, put the water on top of the, the roots. Uh, and the water travel underneath. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, this one will come better. Because the other one were big, but I don't like this one. And juicy too. So the water does affect everything. Yes. If you don't give, come on, explain if to everybody. It, if you rain and the uh, soil is dry, a bit of water is good enough. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't dry, I put the water, then I dig. Mm -hmm. This much on the bottom it didn't go the water. Didn't go? No. So what did you do then? Put more water. Huh? But in this plant, you can't do that. You can't dig every plant to see. You sure? Yeah. Have you tried? See, uh, of course I tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you put chicken manure here too? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> well, we're standing here next to a couple of barrels here. Explain to us well, what is this? I just to collect the water on that drum. Yeah. But because, you know, I can't do much. It's uh, the easiest way to do. Yeah. Full or half, whatever. It, oh, if you pull this yeah. air, then it doesn't work anymore. Oh, how do you do it? Ah, oh, because it gets air This pocket. is empty. Okay. I suck in and go with the water there. Yeah, but now I'd say it's empty now. Just pretend it's empty. We know, I need to understand how you suck this one. If it's empty... Yeah. Uh, now, this one's full, but this one's empty. Yeah. What do you do? I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. I've never done this before. No? No. Yeah, well, I'll show you now. I get the house here. Yeah? I go like this. Yeah? That's a poor effort on the sack. Is that, what you get? Is that all you get out of it? a bit of a dribble? God, don't swallow. It's not good to swallow. Oh, oh see? Oh, yeah. You see oh, what happened? <laughs> Something went in. Yeah, yeah. You, you clean yeah. it up now. What, what I do here now? You stop it from getting in the air. You put it in here. And this one will work again. Ah, uh, and then that fills and then it up. And this one go on there. You do the same in that. Yeah. Then if I want to use the tap, I just use the tap underneath. Yeah. This is not to go rubbish inside. Yeah. Then you turn the tap on. And the plane that put it on it. Yeah. That's it. And then you water. There you go. Yeah. You grab it and you. <laughs> 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 My suede boots. <laughs> That's what they call revenge. <laughs> and there you are, folks. When you need to save every little drop of water, you'll do what it takes to be able to fill the tanks up. And you don't need big, humongous water tanks. You can get recycled barrels like this, reclaim them, fill them up with water, and if you're on a sloping property, you can use gravity to water all your wonderful plants down below. Maresi. That's it. <laughs> If you like Vasily's Garden, then you'll love the winter edition of Vasily's Garden to Kitchen magazine. Available at all good news agencies. Subscribe now at vasilysgarden.com. Hello folks, well, wanting a general tonic? But you're also feeling a little bit sluggish mentally. Ring a bell with anybody out there? 
Well, why don't we call on some wonderful herbs to be able to assist and support you. Get some mental clarity and also lift up with that tonic. The two herbs that we will put together is the cardamom and the rosemary. This combination is extraordinary. Now, by putting it together and making a tea, you can actually get that clarity working. It's just a matter of the taste because it's actually quite strong. But it's interesting that what you could do is you can start off with a very small amount. And when I'm talking about a small amount, I'm actually say that you've never had anything like this before. That amount is adequate. That's all you will need just to get the taste buds working and to start getting the therapeutic benefits of the rosemary. And just around about half a teaspoon of the cardamoms. Now put that in there and what we now have is we've got enough to start off working with rosemary and cardamom as the tonic. Now, the both of them work as a tonic, but mental clarity, rosemary is very well known for, and so too is cardamom. So why not put the both of them together? And just see the therapeutic benefits that you can start feeling. But one of the biggest things, folks, that I really want to drive home about these wonderful herbs and the herbal teas we're putting together is that you're also hydrating. So you're drinking a tea and you're hydrating. So we're getting water coming into the body, which is exactly what we want. And the healing agents that are in these herbs are carried by the water. So with that aqueous preparation that we're doing, that water-based preparation, it's soothing, it's settling, and it's gentle. Now, as you start getting used to the taste and your body realizes the therapeutic benefit of it, it's amazing how you may say, I didn't actually like that at first, but I started to feel so much better, I really then started to enjoy it. Why? Because your animal instinct is saying, I know what is good for you. Therefore, your taste buds will adapt to it. Great process of thought. So please, folks, really focus on getting some of these herbs there. But if you need that clarity and you really want that mental clarity and you want a tonic, an uplifting sort of a tonic effect, put these two herbs together. Start off very low, very mild, very gentle, and then start bringing it up a little bit more as your taste buds start to show that your body will thrive on it. So folks, until next time, find happiness in every moment. So how many litres have you got all together? Uh, 10. 10,000 litres. Yeah, You're on, this is the highest side of the property. You can see we're going uphill here. We've got retaining walls here and the tanks are elevated from there. But when you're going to water the garden, yeah. have you going to do by hand or no? No. i show you. All right. It's full of tricks, this guy. Where are we going? All right, so I'm holding here. What am I doing now? All right, turn the oh. tap on. Look at this. How cool is this? You made this? Yeah. I turn it off. Go over uh, here. Next one. Who put all this together for you? What? This. Who built Me. this? Me. You did this? Yes. What are you, plumber? No, my son is a plumber. Oh, is he? If I went for, the, for them and they were doing no. anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll show you something. If I go into, into the greenhouse, yeah. I haven't got much room. Yeah. Hair short. When I, okay. when I go like that, I put this one. And, and just, from there, I'll go in. You don't have to walk into the garden. Yes. That is classic. Mm. This is Giovanni's invention. We've got a shut-off valve Giuseppe. here. Yeah. Giuseppe or Giovanni? Giuseppe. It's Giuseppe. Yeah. I'm going to go crazy here. <laughs> They're going to drop me there. By the time you finish, So it's you Giovanna and, yeah. and, and Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Yes. So Giuseppe here. That's beautiful. The senora come in the garden? No, she uh, she want me to bring down, <laughs> and not too many. <laughs> a little bit at a time. The best way to look after your plants is with Vasili's Easy Hand Spray. Order your sprayer now, available only at vasiliesgarden.com. 
If you're tired of the old cereal breakfast and not one to cook up a morning feast, this smoothie is just what you need. It's quick and easy to make. It tastes great and it's packed full of healthy vitamins and minerals to keep you going throughout the day. The best way to get the benefits out of all the ingredients is by using Kuvings Vacuum Blender, which is what I'm using today. First, let's add half an avocado, which has a good source of fibre that's essential for maintaining your metabolic health. Avocados can help lower bad cholesterol, they're high in potassium, which supports healthy blood pressure levels and are loaded with monounsaturated fatty acids. Next, let's add half a cup of activated walnuts and you do this by soaking them in filtered water for about eight hours, then rinsing them out well. Activating nuts and seeds removes a substance called phytic acid, which can interfere with nutrient absorption, leaving you feeling depleted. So by activating them first, will help your body absorb the nutrients and prevent gastrointestinal issues. Let's add one small cucumber, which are a natural cleanser. They nourish your body and they flush out toxins. I'm also adding half a cup of natural yogurt and one cup of red cabbage. The first stages of blending takes about 30 to 50 seconds where the blender extracts the air out of the container. The Kuvings SV500 blender has an ultra high strength stainless steel blade and a whopping three and a half horsepower motor, able to pulverize any ingredient you add. Pour the smoothie into a smoothie bowl and garnish it with orange zest, some grated apple and carrot, pumpkin seeds, crushed walnuts, cinnamon and cinnamon sticks, and some manuka honey. And for more delicious recipes just like this, visit our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. See you next time. You think I'm gonna take off the table well, now? How long has it been since you grafted? When did you do this? This one, uh, when is September, when you... September, in springtime, last springtime you, yeah. you grafted it. Yeah. And now in the new year, that's six months later, five, yeah. six months later. Let's have a look at this. All right. See, they are five quality. How many grafts did you put on here? Five, all of them all have come. So not just one, all of these are grafted. All different, yeah, all these are grafted. Oh, hey Craig, eat your heart out. Have a look at this. So we've got five different qualities on the rootstock here. What's the plant underneath? Apple too. Apple. I apple. don't know what type. Of, they never made any apple, you know. I think if you know grafted, they don't make uh, fruit. You put wax on here too. Yeah, some sort of. Uh, that's what. Uh, like I said, I do it technically why different. You know. Okay, I'm looking at it here. Yeah, you need to loosen the tape. All right, I'll do. I do after. No, no, you do now, mate. Yeah. yeah. You want a knife? You, you get a knife, cut it off. Why I say yes to loosen it now is because you can see the tape and it's starting to cut into the graft that's on top. And you can see it's growing over the tape. This is a good example, just over here. You can see it's swollen out at the bottom and above the tape. And the tape's preventing the plant from growing to its natural size. See how tight it is? It's digging into it now. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on anymore. It's like a band-aid face. Yeah. If you leave it on too long, it doesn't callus over properly. It's always going to be soft and, and tender underneath. Where the tape was digging into it, the timber or the bark on the outside is soft. Now that needs to dry out. It needs to be air dried so it can harden up. Okay, so that's what. And this is with this. Yeah. And the other one over there, the peach, yeah. is a graft with the tar, black tar. So, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. Oh, slow down. Oh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting old. This is made with tar. You need to tie them up. Just to cut the same procedure as the other one. Yeah. Only that is a new type of the jelly. Yeah. And this one is just a black tar. You got the timber at the bottom. You split it open like this. Yes. You put the other one on top. And sometimes the bottom one go like this when you put on. That means you don't do a good well, job. Then you have to know how to do. Ah, that's the secret. So when you put it in, it has to sit perfect like that. Yeah. Right? Not like that or like that. I got I got tools for that too. Well, show us the tools. How you do professionally, huh? No, uh, not professionally. No. <laughs> Healthy Habit Smoothies Book is now available at all QBD bookstores or online at vasiliesgarden.com.
Okay. So what are you doing here? Now we're going to do a demonstrate. Yeah. This okay. is the rootstock. This is the bottom. Yeah. This yeah. is the tree. The tree uh, you're going to graft onto. Yes. What's this? You make this? My father did this. I see. Your father make this? Yes. You yes. put that in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, in the middle like that. That splits it open. Look at that. Okay. So that's it there. He's got the split done there. Uh, that's a big okay. split. Yeah, this, is, this is the one you took graft. Yeah, the cyan wood. Yeah, cyan wood. Okay. Yes. Then you cut the leaf. Don't break the thing there. Don't break them off, but cut them off. Yes. So you don't damage the buds. Yes. Now what do you do? Then you go like this first. You split it, you splice it on either sides into yeah. a wedge. Okay. Now, can you see one side is a thicker? And then the other. This is the combined with the tree. This, so, this part here, the thicker. So the one. thicker side is yeah, combined yeah. with a layer of the bark. Yeah, we go to our tools. So we go back to our tools. You open it up. Open it up a bit. Yeah. Then you put this one inside here. So you put oh, the just like, uh, You do it that way. So you put the thin side. Outside. Yeah. Yeah, thin inside, thin inside. Middle. Yeah, I'll hold the bottom for you. There you are. Then you push them in properly. Then you go a bit more like this. And that's finished. So you push it in? Yeah, and that's completely done. Have a look at how tight that is. Now that's why you mean it closes up. If you do it yeah. nice and clean, there's no air pocket. Don't worry about the part at the then bottom there. You can seal that over. Now, because this is a small tree, yep. I don't need any more to widen up the the, thing, the wood, you know? Yeah. And then only I do, I put this one in. On this side? So you got both on it now? Yeah, like you see, this is tied, you see? This is the tar with uh, animal fat, kale mostly. You cook this together. Make it nice and hot, soft. And then you let it cool. One is this one, you graft. Yeah. You warm up again. Yeah. You can use it like this. You get the stick like this. Yeah. And then you go like this. So this is when you heat it up. Yeah. And you cover over. So you cover up everything. Yeah, and that stops it from getting any water, air, yeah. insects, disease. Yeah, the secret is you can do like this, but like this doesn't make any bond. When you is hot, you not very hot, because when you I do I do my father used to put here on the Hand. on the Nile yeah. and it was alright. If yeah. it's too hot, it's uh, bent. Right. Now when you put this one uh, all around here, uh, yeah. close everything, yeah. and get it dry. It's like the tape. It's like the tape and it goes hard yeah. and it holds it together. The only difference is yeah. you don't have to do nothing anymore. That's it. No, it go. Nature. Nature. It grows, it swells yeah. and it comes off. It's elastic. That's it. That's what it is. There you are. Simple. So graft late winter, early spring and for more information you can go to our website, thecelliesgarden.com. Oh, that's it. I'm getting very thirsty now. Yes. Would you like some cold water with ice? No. Or some soft drink? Nah, Sasha, yeah. Beer? Pfft, who drinks beer? What about a nice uh, glass of wine? Ah, uh, now you're talking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Homemade? Yes. Oh, the good stuff? You're gonna judge you for that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Watch your head when you walk. Did you find this like this when you came here? This one is, yes. <laughs> you dug this out. No, here, I, oh. this one is the way it was before. <laughs> Why? There's another room in here. That's the cellar. That's the cellar. That's the door. Oh my God. He's got another door. You built this yourself? Yes. Oh, check this out. You know why I put the radio on in there? The music turns on when he turns the lights on. You know why? <laughs> why? Not to forget the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this room. And you dig this up yourself? Yeah. You're amazing. What are you making here? Oh, you're getting the bottle ready for me. Yeah. This is good. How many bottles do you make a year? 250, 300, 300. I, I can't believe you actually dug okay. all this out. Okay. The taste first. Not bad. Not bad at all, mate. <laughs> yeah? Right, you want to top up? Oh, come on, mate. I haven't even started on it. Don't insult me. <laughs> you going to have some with me? Of course. I Beautiful. Do. Salute. Salute. It's not just from the garden, folks. It's from the garden to the kitchen, to the bottle, to Bottle's the glass. To the glass and to the panza. To the panza. <laughs>
from Mega Vasily. Gotta love it. Maresi, Maresi. Maresi. After we drink this, we make some pizza, huh? Yes. And you dance. You like to dance? Oh, yeah, very much. Beautiful. I'm a dancer. You're a dancer. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> Sí, sí, next week.